Hey guys, you know, sorry if I'm going to be doing this or you hear stuff, you know, just doing what I can occasionally while my mom is out doing garden work. <laughs> um, but I thought I'd come on here and I I've talked about this before, I'm, you know, actually I did a video about a year, a little over a year ago, about a few months after I moved in here with my mom uh, in Newman. And I talked about, uh, heck, I even did an audio video on it, I believe, several years prior. And I talked about Lifetime as well, Lifetime Channel. And honestly, I'm not trying to be mean, and I don't mean any offense when I say anything in this video. Lord knows I don't. The Hallmark, why? Why are you so repetitive with your movies? I mean, it's not that you don't put on some good stuff. I mean, one of your most popular series right now, franchises, is Wind Calls the Heart. And the movies, from what I understand, might be identical in some ways, but they're different enough to where people enjoy them, and you've been able to spring out or put out sequel after sequel after sequel, and thus you were able to create a series out of it as well, because even though there are parts of it that could be identical, it's different enough to where people can thoroughly enjoy it. But, that's one thing. And yes, you have the license and stuff to air shows like The Golden Girls, Fl Frasier, Cheers, The Middle, you know, other stuff. You have the potential to create great material. Heck, one of your more popular series besides When Calls the Heart is The Good Witch. But besides Christmas being the only other time that you show potential of being great, throughout most of the year, you're very repetitive. You are. And that's not good. You can't just expect someone to think one movie one week is good and that the new movie that's going to follow out follow the following week is going to be just as good and not notice the repetitiveness in said film in said next film i mean one week you could have a romantic comedy you have the stuff traditional that you're known for the traditional romantic stuff whatever that you're known for and then the next week you have a new movie coming out and even though you advertise it as being different, people will sit back and watch it, say, okay, let's watch this movie. There's going to be a time that throughout that movie, people are going to notice identical similarities in moments and scenes that were just like they were, that are identical, I know I said that twice, but are identical to what they had just seen the week before. And when they start noticing the scenes being identical to scenes they had seen from the other movie the week before, they're going to be like, wait a minute, this feels like we're watching the same movie that we watched last week. Or we're watching the movie we watched last week. Because even though you might have a different cast, you, the movie title might be different, the plot in a sense might be different, and you might throw in a few things here and there to make it different, when those moments come up, People are going to basically start questioning whether or not you're just rehashing an old storyline or the storyline from the previous movie they saw the week before. And when they start noticing that and even talking about it, saying, hey, they're just repeating themselves, it puts you in a bind. It puts you in a bind, Hallmark. Because you are better than that. You have the potential to be great. To show that you can give variety. I mean, I will give Lifetime and even We Channel some credit. They are trying to be different. They are trying to be more variety based in their programming. And, and even the movies. But you're not. And again, the only time you ever show that potential is during the Christmas season. And you have a lot of, like I said, you have various series and stuff originally under your name under your production name that you that shows you can be good it shows you have great great ideas that you can be full of variety 
and you don't have to be repetitive, but yet you are. I mean, you wonder probably why not a lot of people want to distribute your made-for-television movies onto DVD and Blu-ray sometimes, besides certain ones that show that potential. It's because all of us seeing is repetitiveness. And what you need to do, Hallmark, to show that you're not that way is start showing that you can be different all the way around. Stop being repetitive. When you advertise a move, an all-new movie is going to be different. It's going to have a different cast, different story. You need to stick by that. You need to basically show, show that that movie is not going to be repetitive in some, with certain moments and scenes and whatever. You need to prove that you can be different. And you have that potential. You can do that. I mean, I'm not trying to be mean, Has. I'm not trying to be mean, Hallmark. But you're not the We Channel. You're not Lifetime. They are. They were made. They went the direction because they had a specific gender and audience in mind. And despite how certain things might vary in different might vary from those targeted genders and audiences and whatever throughout history and there's several cases that we've seen that happen they have at least tried to stick to the guns lifetime when they say they're television made for women at least they're trying to stick to that we channel when they say the women entertainment they try to stick to that and that's a great thing for them to do but you are supposed to be a fam you and your spin-off channel channels are supposed to be family oriented you're supposed to have variety not be repetitive when it comes to certain things especially your movies I mean had you got the money why don't you hire a freaking animation studio to put on an anim to create an animated film to put on during the holidays you know how many views you'll get for that I mean, the last time you got people talking about you when it came to something like that is when you did Annabelle's Wish. And guess what? Guess what? I like that movie. It's one of my favorite Christmas films. And, 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 and people like Logan Reinberg or L Logan Reinberg, a.k.a. Huey Toonmore, The Nostalgia Critic, Doug Walker, Media Hunter, you know, Bob Show, Rob Thomas, Bennett the Sage, Rob the Wonderful. Everybody shares our sentiments about Annabelle's Wish being good. And, you have, and if you can show your potential then, you have the potential to show that now. What I'm saying, Hallmark, is you need to stop trying to be the we channel you need to stop being the lifetime channel you need to be your own identity you need to have your own thing that makes you different from anybody else and if you have a family oriented channel if you're meant to be a family oriented channel including your mystery and thrillers or mysteries and movies spin-off channel whatever is that if that's supposed to be the same way or that's supposed to be more for the adults adults in a sense more the mature audiences in a sense, teenagers, adolescents, then you need to start focusing on that. You need to start focusing on the family aspect. You need to start focusing in on what you're standing, on what you're meant to be. Okay? When it comes to your movies, it comes to your specials. You need to start showing that you have what it takes to give variety. You need to. I mean, if you want to be a channel, and I don't mean any offense by this, but if you want to be a channel that targets the female demographic, then fine. Just reboot your brand and say, we are now the Hallmark Channel, the new destination for women television. And I don't mean any offense by that, but if that's what you want to do, then do it. Stop trying to, to be lifetime and we. Be your own thing. Show you can be ident show you can be show you can have show that you have that potential. Release that potential I should say and show that you can be different. You can be more variety. You're not gonna be repetitive when it comes to your movies. Cause like I said, 
what happens if you do a bat like I said what happens if one week they want a family sits down and watch one romantic comedy family oriented movie and then the next week they watch a newer one but they start seeing the identicalness in certain moments and scenes and whatever despite the different title name despite despite a different cast what happens if they see that what happens is they start noticing you're being repetitive and if they keep noticing that week after week after week then it's not good for you especially if you decide hey let's marathon these movies back to back and they notice it within the span of what two three four hours you need to stop doing that hallmark you have the I know I'm repeating myself saying this word but it's important to hear you have the potential to be great stop trying to be something you're not all right because sooner or later it's gonna sooner or later someone like me is not going to come out and say anything it's going to be someone on a higher rank level let's say you get a new president or ceo in there they might be like you know what i don't like how we're repeating ourselves with these movies it's just basically the same story all over again we need to be different we need to create variety and you know what's going to happen that new person's going to come in and they're going to make sure you do variety make sure you're different make sure your stories are not repetitive and if that's what it takes that's what it takes but hopefully that doesn't happen that won't happen happen and that hopefully even if it does you can change before that so hallmark channel i say this with all due respect you have the potential you've shown it you currently show it sometimes but now it's time to truly show it with your feature link which are made for television feature length films stop being repetitive and start being different you want you want Lion Gaze or CBS or somebody to distribute your movies on Blu-ray and DVD for places like Walmart and Target and you know and we're at Amazon and wherever start being different stop being repetitive with your movies all right make your movies different stop being repetitive that's all i'm gonna say let me know what you guys think down below what are your thoughts on what i just had to say about hallmark being repetitive and what do you think they need to do to make sure that stuff make sure they stop doing that comment down below and i'll talk to y'all later